following program is sponsored by PokerStars.com. Last night on the big game, the loose cannon from Rome showed the pros he meant business. I think he's going to be the best loose cannon there's ever been yes, in the show. Maybe the craziest. And when Phil Hellmuth tried a big bluff. I'll take this one now. You fold. I win. Max made a big call. OK, call. Good call. You win. I can't make that call. No, I can't make that call. That's so sick. Tonight, see if the cannon keeps living on the edge. You reload if you lose. Holy smoly. The beast from Italy. So he's going to take all our money. Or will the pros eventually run this table? Two pair. So bad. Find out as the big game continues now. Woo! Handed out some tilt juice. Welcome to the big game from Las Vegas with Joe Stapleton. I'm Scott Huff. Tonight, our internet qualifier continues to test himself against the best in the world. Right now, there's almost three quarters of a million dollars up for grabs in our state of the art poker room. The businessman Bill Perkins has twice had to go back for more capital. 50K after hand three and 25 more to begin tonight. Bill Locke is all about setting records. Once the man who played the longest cash game session ever, he's now the all-time money leader on the big game. He's up 15K. Like a snakeskin leisure suit, Elkie's been lying in the weeds, but he bit the businessman in the final hand last night. He's up over 40 dimes. Dario Minieri is here from Rome. At the moment, he's bringing the average profit for Italians at the table down. He's stuck a little over 3K. This week's loose cannon is 24-year-old Massimiliano Martinez from Rome, Italy. Max is currently studying economics at La Sapienza University. Sounds delicious. The Italian has shown some poker chops and is up $57,200. The final player is Phil Helmuth. His failed bluff versus Max has left him with a deficit of almost 20,000. Right now, the poker brat is with the princess, Amanda Leatherman. Phil, what a crazy first night here at the big game. It looks like you and the loose cannon are butting heads a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I tried to bluff him. He made a great call, and uh, you have to give him credit for that. I, I think that uh, that hand would not have happened in a professional game like that, so it was very kind of, you know, it was very interesting dynamic. When he made the bet on the river, I put him on a 10, and I knew he couldn't call 45,000 more, but whoops! Uh-oh! <laughs> Uh-oh! What do you think he of the rest call. of the table? I mean, I think that Elke and Dario are playing uh, really good right now. They're 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 solid. They're patient, and, and they normally jam it up a bit. Yep. Phil Locke's doing about what he does, and I think that uh, you know Mr. Perkins is he's he's tried to bluff six pots already, so he's definitely definitely he's he's firing. Are you going to go after the loose cannon, trying to get that money back? Not really. I mean, I just know that next time he has top pair, I'm going to have a really big hand, and I'm going to win a lot of money. So. Well, I'm pulling for you, Phil. Good luck. Thanks, Hero. The loose cannon is staked $100,000 to play. He keeps all money above the initial $100,000. And the loose cannon, who's won the most money at season's end, earns a North American Poker Tour passport worth $50,000. Gonzalez Cannon set the benchmark for the NAPT passport at over $155,000. But like Don Giovanni, Max had a strong Italian opening act and is already more than a third of the way toward catching him, although at one point he was as close as halfway to catching him. Action will start with the pro in our Italian contingent, Dario Minieri, with 10-6 offsuit, folds. Queen-9 off for Elke, lets it go. Phil Locke with the hammer, suited. I don't I don't think I was calling. In my head, I was folding. He raises to 800, little min raise. I think he's bluffing. Trade deuce for Perkins, makes the call. He makes the call dominated. Martinez with 8-5 offsuit. Let's it go. This way, there's a better chance that we get Phil Helmuth in the pot. Anything could happen with <laughs> Phil Helmuth. You could get. Jack seven for Helmuth. He does call 400. <laughs> Anything could happen. Anything could happen. I hope I win this spot. <laughs> Insightful. Four queen ace rainbow. Check. Helmuth checks. Lock with no choice but to continue his ruse. And he does. Bets 800. Perkins has a draw. Is that a bad Anna call? Okay, then I better get Perkins out. is called and Helmuth is out. I'm limited in what I can do now. <laughs> well, with that attitude, you are. <laughs> Ten of hearts on the turn. Lock seven high is still best. He picks up no outs, slows down, gives up the lead. Checks over to Perkins. Bets 2,500. <laughs> really, Billy boy? Nuclear tilt nuclear, monster? Nuclear tilt. Perkins with the nut low. He might have me beat. I don't know. Might? 
This might be Mike, but you could donk. And you did call this 800 pretty confidently. And lock folds. <laughs> you might have the nine high, Phil's nine high beat. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have nine high. I can't beat nine high. Perkins pulls off a little bluff. Did you have the 5-3? Three three? Did you just hurt me with the 5-3? No, nah, the 2-3, you know it. And shows it. Oh, man. Not low. Not low. Oh, man. My soul was on there. Yeah, Phil, you laid down a real monster. So after Perkins steals some of Locke's soul, we'll review the rules of the big game. Each table lasts exactly 150 hands. The action is pot limit pre-flop, then no limit after the flop. Blinds are two and 400 with a $100 ante, all of which is paid by the player on the button. And every player begins with at least 100,000, but can rebuy for up to 500K. And also new rule this season, we're starting to allow check raises. Action will start on Phil Locke with a queen and a five. Folds. Sloppily, Perkins out. Martinez with the jack eight. And Fultz. Helmuth dumps it. Dario Minieri, 6-4 offsuit. A lot of players would raise any too small to big. Calls a couple hundred. But that's just what Elkie's expecting he would do. And Elkie checks the jack nine. Four, ten, seven, rainbow. Seven. And Minieri quickly bets out with his bottom pair. Bottom pair is going to be good here most of the time. Now being one of those times. And Elke calls with the gut shot. He's also got one over card. To the turn. Nine of hearts. Elke now with a pair. The board now looks as wet as Dario's hair. <laughs> and Minieri checks. And Elke checks. We're going to see a river. Eight of hearts and both players make straights. Elke's got the best hand. Dario's got the dumb dumb end. Turn him up. But Minieri's betting it, makes it 2,100. He's taking a shot that Elke missed everything. Elke doesn't have the nuts, but his hand is certainly good enough for a raise. And there's the raise to 6,600. We've got some Euro on Euro violence here. All we need is some techno music. Dario's not beating any value raises by a long shot, so he must think there's a chance Elke would do this on a stone bluff. It's pretty tough blind versus blinds. Ranges are so wide. He makes the call. Now he shows him the winner. Sad face emoticon. They're going to use that in a value bet video. <laughs> a how to value bet when, you know, yeah, that's fact. when you have like those 17th nuts. Gro Pellier takes the pop, but Joe Elke's been very un Elke so far. Yeah, that raise in the river only upped his aggro factor to 0.5, dead last at the table. But since Elke's won every hand at showdown, the usually aggressive Frenchman still has a nice profit sitting in front of him. Someone get this man a cafe au lait. Wake him up a little bit. Well, his snug play has him up a little more than $47,000 right now. All right, well, moving on. The straddle's on at the hands of Bill Perkins. So the action will start on our Italian loose cannon, Massimiliano Martinez, queen four of clubs. Folds, Helmuth out. Phil, you got the money to do around now. Listen, Bill, no means no. 21. Dario makes it 2,100. I can't. I'm not going to stand on the way if even the loose cannon wants to do it. I couldn't. Couldn't feel right about that. Elke folds. I, that's a very good point. Even the loose cannon wants it. It makes me, you know. <laughs> What's the Italian word for baller? I call, Dario. And Locke calls 1,700 with 5-4 suited. 7-3, not good enough for the businessman. You leave me to myself with him, huh? I'm going to probably regret folding that. Jack 410 rainbow. Minieri with middle pair, lock with bottom. I check to the power. And lock checks. Dario's in position and has the betting lead. 24. Bets 2400. Phil knows Dario has to continue here pretty much all the time. I call the power. And lock calls 2400. His four will be good on occasion, just not this time. To the turn, Jack of clubs. I check to the power. Lock checks. And Minieri checks. Little pot control. River, deuce of clubs, no help to anyone. 6,100. Locke's going to take a stab, bet 6,100. And his insta called. Dario beats him into the pot. Here's your money. <laughs> Three, seven, enough, 61. Yeah. And Dario snags one from the Unibluffer. I can't get the magic going, Elky. I need some magic. By the way, the funny thing is, even in spite of no magic, I'm up $2,000, kids. Wow. That's big. It's huge. 
Do you think he's kidding? Wait till you see how he goes around collecting all the crew's bottles and cans. And that stack's worth double in Michigan. Stick around, more big game coming up right after this. Welcome back to Las Vegas, where Phil Locke always seems to find the magic on the big game eventually. It's a certain feeling that, well, only the Unabomber can actually describe. The reason why I've been hitting it hard on this program is a really twisted blend of having the best hand, getting it in sometimes as a big favorite, but also I think I'm getting a lot of my reads right when I can steal and when I should just fold and not being in as many pickles. You know I'm gonna fold if you stick it all in. Hiya! But also, I think these TV shows bring the kind of like bluff creatures out of the. If a guy's bluff ratio is 10% lifetime, it's probably 25% on a show like this. Uh, and I've been connecting, you know, people are trying to bluff me when I have a real hand. You gotta have one of these rushes. It feels electric. From a gambler's point of view, I feel like I'm running hot. Phil Locke has been running hot. He's neck and neck for the biggest overall winner in the history of the big game, which still doesn't explain why he's dressed like one of the Joker's henchmen from the 1960s. <laughs> Action will start on the other Phil. That's what I call him, the other Phil, with a six and another six. Even Phil Helmuth's peaks are good for TV. Calls 400, Minieri out. Elke with seven, eight. Calls 400. It's happened. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> Suited Jack Deuce for lock calls. Perkins completes from the small blind. 10-8 from Martinez. Option? Checks. What is going on here? This is like a limp. Fest. I limped in the first position again. How you much is in there? It folded. One, two, sorry, three. Sorry. Four, Dario. Five-way action to the flop. King, eight, tray. Couple of diamonds. Perkins whiffed. Checks his jack high. Max flop middle pair and the best hand. Checks it. Phil's got the third best hand. Also wants no part of it. No set, no bet. Elkie's also got middle pair, but Max has got him out kicked. And Elkie bets 1,400. Phil Locke has no pair, but with his flush draw, he's got the most equity in this pot. And he calls 1,400 with the jack high flush draw. Perkins out, starts yawning from boredom not even one second later. And Martinez is out, folds the best hand. And Helmuth will get out of the way. We'll go heads up to the turn. Me and the best. Jack of spades and Locke with a pair now as well. Phil Locke continues to run hot. Elkie checks. <laughs> All right. And Locke checks. They don't want the pot to get too huge. Five of clubs on the river. Elkie checks again. This is sometimes a spot for a value bet. Check. Locke will check it down. Check. And Locke wins. I win that stupid hand. Really? Yeah, Jack 10. No way. Thank you for betting. You got out the best hand. I had the best hand. Yeah, I, I, I know. Well, uh, the hand that would have won. Yeah, yeah. Locke is now up 3,200 for the week and has retaken the lead as the big game's most profitable player ever. Bill's accumulated his profit over six appearances while it's taken Justin Bonomo just two visits to build his nest egg. Barry Greenstein sits in third at over 310,000, while Prahlad Friedman and Donnie Stern round out the top five. Well, this situation will certainly be fluctuating throughout the week, so we'll keep an eye on Phil. Our thoughts and prayers are with the Bonomo family, who we know are watching very closely. <laughs> Two tens for Elkie. Raises to 1,300. Locke calls with his suit at ace. How many different versions of this hand am I going to get? It's got to work once. Not true. It's got to work once. Perkins with trade dues again. Don't try this ever. Calls 1,300. Over to our cannon, Martinez, with pocket sevens. Massimiliano looks like he's up to something. Three bets it to 6,100. Helmuth quickly out of the way, as is Dario. You guys are chatting it up over there. Massimiliano is trying to play some cards. Finally, Elke paying attention with the best hand. Elkalicious! Elkie doesn't care. Squeeze alert. Let's see what's going uh. on. Elkie makes the call. Squeeze alert. No, I think I'm not coming. Uh. Lock folds. I think I'm not coming on that one. Perkins is out as well. You guys leave me alone. 
Yeah, bro. Yeah. That's not very nice. Max scares me. I haven't figured out if he's a genius or a donkey yet, so I'm just not playing hands with him. Two players to the flop. I'm leaning towards genius. Like the Tower of Pisa. King, ace, ace. Aw, oh, poor Phil would have flopped trips. Elkie's trying to get a read on Max. Checks it over to him. Max pretty much has no choice but to bet after three betting pre-flop. And bets 5,200. Elkie also knows that Max would have pretty much had no choice but to bet. But he folds. Even when you know they're bluffing, it's hard to call because they're in such a good math spot. They just get the money anyways, you know? A little seabed action from Max takes it down and he continues to roll here on the big game. Leave it to the economics major to know the math. We're trying to figure out if he's a genius or dumb and it's leaning towards genius right now, you know? Class is back in session right after this. Dario, thanks for coming on the big game. Nice Come to meet you. Come as a commentator, it's really nice, really. You can't hear me. You're saying that you are a normal commentator. I mean... This is Luca Pagano. He's the color commentator in Italy. He's, he was saying what? That he's really a normal commentator. I mean, you are so bad that you have no idea. That's what he's saying. Oh, no, that's I understood him. That's why I was smiling and nodding. I agree. Oh. Yeah, I am a horrible commentator. Thank you, Dario. Fantastic. No problem. Good, right. good luck today. <laughs> thanks, Luca. Thanks. Dario's just mad because I used to call him Harry Potter back in the day when he used to wear a scarf and look 11. <laughs> Italian poker pro Luca Vagano is joining Amanda in the lounge all week long for our Italian coverage. Meanwhile, the loose cannon is up 65,000 and change. Not only is Luca super smooth Italian and handsome, but somehow he pulls off a mustache. Bravo! Action will start here on the Unabomber, Phil Locke. Joe, does he pull off the ski cap? He needs to pull it off his head. <laughs> Presto for Locke, min raises. Hello, Bill Perkins. How you doing? It's nice to see you. Awfully flirty for a married man. <laughs> Perkins makes the call. Martinez out. Helmuth calls with 10-8. King nine of hearts for Dario. 41. Re-raises to 4,100. This is the first legit pre-flop bluff we've seen from Dario, even though he does have the most equity in this hand at the moment. Locke will make the call. Call. Perkins calls. Holy cow. And fills in. You guys, I could have called a lot faster if I known you guys were just going to hop, skip in, and make it all simplified for me. Well, huh? we... <laughs> when Dario has his dancing shoes on, that's where you got to bust him. Right. You got to get him when Dario's dancing, you know? Maybe he falls off the ledge. Dario's Italian, not stupid. He knows you're talking about him, and look how sad it's making him. Flop tray, six deuce, two diamonds. Minieri whiffs. Let's see if he wants to continue. 65. He does, bet 6,500. Locke's got second pair and a gut shot. But he folds the only made hand. Perkins also has a gut shot and a flush draw and an over. Call. And calls. Though Locke did just fold two of his outs. Helmuth will fold. Oh, come on. They think they're going to run us over. I'm so sick. Who's us? 11 bracelets and one ring to rule them all? Seven of spades on the turn. No help to either player. Let's see if Super Dario wants to keep shooting out fire pellets. 21,000. Bets 21K. Doot, 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 doot. Perkins is getting two and a half to one. If he knew the hands, he should probably raise, but since he can only guess at his equity, it's most likely a call here, though this would be for over a quarter of his stack. Dario is bluffing, but it is with the best hand. Perkins not really one to fold too often. And he doesn't. Makes the call. So we'll see a river. Seven of hearts, total zero, but it does pair the board. Dario's nothing is still the best hand. 21. Fires 21,000 with air. And Perkins insta folds. Show bluff, Dario. Come on. I can show your, my cards to you guys. Anyway, it was on a draw. He was on a draw, as evidenced no, by the fold. No, it's fair on the draw. That's why we call him Super Dario. Super Dario. <laughs> Super Dario. I prefer Scary Minieri. Like the loose cannon, Dario is also from Rome and is known for being a high stakes heads up specialist. He earned a World Series of Poker bracelet in 2008 and has won more than 1.8 million in live tournament earnings. Dario is also famous for buying a Porsche with online player points. Yes, a real one. 
Dario, I'll put Probably you on like queens. He could have had anything. It's Dario. I'll put you on a pair <laughs> of queens. I didn't think he had much. Maybe he got lucky and flopped a set of deuces or some crazy hand. Thanks for your estimation on Italy and on me. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> I really appreciate that. What do you mean? You're, you admitted you're a fast player. During the hand, you said that you showed his jack, so you know you were going to be re-raised every time. Yeah, but you were an original yeah, yeah. raiser. Helmuth raises to 2,400 with queen nine. Dario with trade deuce. You think I always have nothing. I always bluff, and I can stop myself. Dario folds. Don't underestimate Italians. Pretty much, He yes. showed you. Yeah. Right, Max? Well, right, but it's better if he underestimate. And those two just summed up every Rocky movie. Don't underestimate Italians. So Elke folded, Locke made the call, and now it's on Perkins. That bad. Calls with 9-8. <laughs> oh, that would have been bad. If I moved all in on the flop, you call? I can't say, because if I answer, I say you if I have queens or not. I don't want to say a lie, so I don't want to answer. That's fair enough. That's what I would answer, the same thing. That's not true. He would have lied a third way. Queen a7. That's why we think the same, because they have a chip as well. <laughs> yeah, same, same manufacturing <laughs> plan. Helmy's flop pretty big. Middle pair and a flush draw. It's checked to him, and he bets 2,000. Locke's got top pair. Calls, and Perkins calls. Pretty odd call from Perkins, who's now decided to float off his money rather than fire it off. Eight of diamonds on the turn. Perkins improves, but Locke doesn't. He's still got the best hand, though. Checks. Perkins checks. 8,000. Helmuth is going to fire 8K. Lock quickly out, and Perkins folds. Helmuth's going to win the pot with a little semi bluff. And that pot allows Phil Helmuth to quietly climb closer to even as he gets Phil Locke to lay down the best hand. Ha! The guy in the burglar hat just got robbed. <laughs> We're back with more of the big game right after this. We've reached hand 42 of the big game, and it's time for the couch cannon hand of the night. It's where we only reveal the loose cannon's cards, and you at home try to play the hand from their perspective. Let's light this candle. Massimiliano Martinez with pocket eights. Should be a pretty easy raise with a pair. Gonna raise it to 1,300. Phil folds. My read is that Phil had a bad hand. Boom, <laughs> when's lunch? <laughs> Tario Minieri makes the call. Elke's yeah, out. And Locke is out. Your Perkins folds. His hand so only one hand to figure here, Joe. Dario's in position, so his range doesn't have to be super strong. Plus, he's got a little uppity lately. A six queen rainbow. Not a very good flop for two eights, but I think Max has got to take a stab with a C bet in position anyway. And he does bet 1,700. And Minieri calls. Pretty quick call, and it's a dry board, so he's probably not on a draw. Turn, deuce of diamonds. Firing another barrel is one way to go, but I'm actually fine with just giving up at this point. This loose cannon does not give up. Looks like he's going to try to keep the betting lead here. And bets 4,600. I put Dario on pocket aces, Joe, because I always put everyone on pocket aces. Well, when you're beat, you're beat. And Dario calls. Guessing he will put in a raise at some point if he has pocket aces, Scott. Ten of clubs on the river. My argument here is the same as the turn, only now the board is even worse for two eights. And Max looks like he's shutting down. He checks. I mean, Yeri checks behind. Did he win? Look at eight. Max shows him the eights. I don't like his chances. We'll see what Dario has. A jack and an ace. He's going to have the winner. I'm a solid player. Ace, jack, call. Yep. Chuck behind. Yep. Why do you always get to think of bluff all the times? Last night, Max was up as much as 92K and hot on Gonzo's tail for the NAPT passport. But right now, he's only up 57.5, and it looks like he needs to regroup. You can't win every pot, kid. Are you friends with Dario? Yes, yes, very much. How old is he? He looks 16. <laughs> I bet. I bet he's 27. Really? Yeah. I'd say 25. Okay. Dario. We have a bet uh, between me and Amanda. How old are you? 26. Oh, you're 26? Yeah. So who wins? <laughs> who wins? <laughs> it's a split pot. It's a split pot. <laughs> I look younger. Oh, split pot? Yes. She said 27, I said 25. I think Luca wins because he gets to sit on the couch with Amanda. <laughs> Elke with a couple of nines raises the 1300. The businessman with the computer hand again makes the call. Max, Queen Jack. In the small blind, 
Makes the call. Pocket sixes for Phil. God, this is such a mistake to just call here, I think. Eh. Well, then, all right. That's so call. weak. God. <laughs> yeah, but he wanted to race, too, it looked like. Phil does just call. Four players to the flop. A little posturing going on. Mm. Posturing. True. Very true. Four, seven, ace, rainbow. Max checks. Phil checks. Elke wraps. Elke checks the best hand. And Perkins checks. Perkins maybe thinks middle pair is the best hand. Well, he's certainly got the best hand now. Three sevens for the businessman. Martinez checks. Still with just queen high. Phil bets 2,300. Phil's deciding to fire out now with the third best hand. If you posture, then you have to pretend you have it, you know? I know you have. <laughs> now the double reverse psychology call. Elke and the businessman both call. And Max will let it go. Wow. What in the heck is going on here? Elky's got nines and Perkins has trips. <laughs> Eight of clubs on the river. Check. Phil checks. One more over card for Phil's hand. Elky wants none of it now. The businessman's about to do a PowerPoint presentation on value betting. <laughs> it makes it 10,000. I mean, I just hate the way I played this hand. God dang it. She just re-raised before the flop, Phil. Helmuth folds. And Elk, you'll let it go. That's how it's done, sir. Thanks, nice Bluff. Bluff. He's got face for sure. Perkins shows the seven. Oh, it's your kicker. That's the question. Queen. So business is finally starting to pick up for Bill Perkins, but despite that win, he's still down more than $122,000. Italian Massimiliano Martinez remains the leading profiteer with 55 and change, while Elke and Dario are not far behind. The loose cannon has been unable to build on his hot start. If Max wants to win the passport and end up the number one Italian on the North American Poker Tour, he's going to have to take a lesson from fellow Paisan Emeril Lagasse and kick it up a notch. Bam! Businessman is opted to straddle, so Max will start the action with King Queen. Two big paint cards. How about a little essence to that pot? Bam! Makes it 2,600. Now Muth is out. Vinieri folds. Elke. Jack Trey. Real trash, and he puts it in the muck. So does Phil Locke. Over to the straddler with a six. Perkins has actually got an ace in his hand, which is rare for him. And he makes the call. That ace likely has nothing to do with why he's putting money in the pot. Flop, nine king, ten, a couple of clubs. Perkins missed. And checks. Pretty good flop for Max, top pair and a gut shot. But he checks it to the turn. Checking for deception, maybe a little pot control. Jack of clubs, Martinez hits his straight. But it's not the nut straight, and there's a potential flush out there as well. 4,500. 4,500, 4,500. Right, Perkins still has outs. Bet's 4,500. It's a little weird that Perkins is leading out all of a sudden, but Max's hand is too strong to lay down. Martinez makes the call. Boys, I'm in the plus club again. I'm plus 300. We'll see a river. I'm on, I'm not seeing... Seven of clubs, a bit of a scare card there. Action killer puts four card flush and straights out there. And Perkins checks it. This kid has made some thin value bets, but this one would be pretty nuts. So close. Check. But he checks it down. That wins it. Perkins is disappointed. Ace high is the best hand he's showed down yet. And Martinez will take a pot worth 15K. <sighs> if I could sum up this hand in one word, it'd be BAM! <laughs> he's calling. <laughs> he might be part he's, calling. He's, he's calling. I'll tell you this. Non ho visto neanche l'azione, comunque è buono, che a Croce non penso. Non mi sembra uno che fagli lo gol. Com'è stata l'azione comunque? Check, flop, check, check. Race call per flop. Ah, tu sei sul suo strada, sì, sì. I had ace high, I fold. <laughs> nice fold. Phil doesn't even speak Italian, somehow assumes they're talking about him. More big game on the way. Welcome back to Las Vegas, where our Italian loose cannon has played solid poker against these pros. Because I, I think he might be a mad genius with Donk strain, like he, unbeatable strain of virus, you know? He might just be. Yeah. Like, did you see uh, uh, Resident Evil? He could be like one of those infected guys. Like a zombie. How is that's that? like so How strong. How's a genius he's infected? No, he get, he, they crawl oh, through the floor, oh, and they come oh, up, God. and they almost oh. make it, you know? Almost. That's important. 10-9 suited for our cannon. 
Max has sick power. Wow, this is the most aggressive loose cannon I've ever seen. Raises to 1300, Phil H is out. I love it, I love it. I mean, I just, just if I can beat top pair, I can win like 100. I just, I'm trickling chips off to him. Yeah, let's trickle. Trickle, trickle down trickle. poker, Dude. you know, this is what trickle. I do. Lock and Perkins both in. Trickle. I keep getting hands that allow me to trickle down though, it's tough. Jack 8-6, a couple of diamonds on the flop. A zombie cannon flops the up and down straight flush draw. Check. Lock checks top pair. Bill Perkins has got top air. Check. And checks it. I think we're pretty likely to see Massimiliano continue his aggression. This is a perfect spot to start building a pot. You'd be right, Joe, he bets 2,600. Well, I don't think Phil will be folding top pair. And from the looks of all those chips he's grabbing, he may just be getting tired of this kid. He puts out a raise, 14-6, and Perkins folds. This is a pretty ob spot for a three-bet IMO. Max is a favorite against top pair, and this actually doesn't have great implied odds, meaning Phil can probably get away from it if a bad card hits. Max might want to get in as much now as he can. Martinez re-raises to 37,700. Can you pull in 12? Now, Phil said on the first hand of the week when he paid off Max that it was going to mess with his head for the rest of the session. He was likely to believe Max would always have it. And this could very well be where Phil concludes that Max is indeed a zombie Highlander vampire leprechaun. <laughs> where did they make this piece? What part of Italy did he come from? Rome. Rome? Is that where he trained? Or did he go to the Ukraine? One of those Italian training camps. They have <laughs> those camps are no joke. Miscalculate pot odds, they shave your head. <laughs> I don't know how many folds I can do. I feel like I have to fold. It's pretty sick. Wow. Technically, Phil's got the best hand, even though he's a little worse than a coin flip to stay that way. Just kidding. I want to see his hand. By the way, Max, I'm folding, and I will show you my hand if you show me your hand. Lock folds. I don't need that. Right. Max says no thanks. He'd rather the money than the cards. Buddy, he's just ready to stick 40 in with any one pair. I don't know what to do in that spot. Well, guess what, guys? He didn't even have a pair in that spot, so there. Massimiliano scoops another pot as the guessing game continues for the Phils. The loose cannon's been keeping this table on its heels by raising preflop 17% of the time. He's also won 19% of total pots, ranking third so far. But more importantly, Max has won more than 74K without having a showdown. Good for second best at the table. You know, on the first hand of the week, Max showed down a strong hand for some thin value, and the pros haven't looked him up much since. Kind of like getting in a fight on your first day of prison. Clearly, I know what I'm talking about. I want to bust you. I can't, once I fold, I can't bust you Action anymore. folding over to Phil Locke with pocket aces. You can't spell Locke without a couple of A's. <laughs> Locke's been min-raising most of the day. Now he's making it full pot. Hmm? Right. Trade deuce for Perkins. We've seen this before. This time he gives it up. The deuce trade's been following Perkins around all week like a bad penny. <laughs> ace eight of spades for the cannon. Don't see this aggressive cannon folding a suited ace. And Max has bumped it up to 6,300. Wants to play with the lead out of position. Unfortunately, he's running into pocket aces. Not a bad idea in general, but oops. Lock stacking chips. All right, <laughs> Sir Maximilian. Raise. He knows he can't raise Max a million, right? We're pot limit, Phil. Come on. Raises to 19,900. Max is probably realizing that Phil's range just got a lot more narrow, and Ace 8 is doing pretty badly against most of that range. And Max wisely gets out of the way. Now I know how to beat Max. No, do not look good. That one I can't tell you. Well, that's a great strategy, Phil. Get Aces. He can now officially beat Max one out of every 221 hands. Well, Max has finally proven that he's not a vampire zombie, but he's not helping his case much with that stare down. Max would have called if he had the button, trust me. Max was out of position, which is a rare little treat. <laughs> Thank you.
Welcome back to the big game where Italy's Massimiliano Martinez has so far earned a profit of over $76,000. He's almost halfway to catching Gonzo for the passport. And remember, whether he catches him or not, he keeps anything over the hundred grand he was staked. And either way, he gets to keep the hotel stationary. What? They want you to take it. Elke will start the action, or lack thereof, he ditches it. Phil Locke, 10 tray, folds. Businessman Jack Nine will make the call. Martinez with nine deuce says no thank you. And Helmy makes the call. Wow. Minieri checks his option. I did not expect that. I'm a little surprised Dario checked an ace as well. Flop, ace, nine, 10, pair for Perkins. So Max was gonna pound it again. Helmuth checks, Minieri checks. Perkins fires a lot of flops, especially when he has a piece. Checks this one, queen of diamonds on the turn. Helmuth checks. 2,000. Minieri bets 2K. Finally betting with top pair. Perkins makes the call with his pair in a straight draw, and Helmuth folds. Dario's played this a little passively, and it's paying off now. River, queen of clubs. Pretty easy value bet. 45. And Minieri bets 4,500. It might be tough for Perkins to put Dario on an ace since he didn't raise preflop or bet the flop, but an ace isn't the only thing beating a nine. Perkins has really only got a bluff catcher. He makes the call. And Dario shows him the truth. The Italians are just raking in the dough and then also tossing it into the air to make pizza. <laughs> Minieri wins a pot worth almost 15,000. You got me that because you never tell anything, so I was just like, I, I have to see what he has. So far, Bill Perkins is having the opposite experience this time around on the big game. In his first visit, the businessman had a VPIP of 58% and finished with a profit of more than 45,000. This week, woo, Bill's played 71% of the hands and mostly come up empty, down over 142K already. Now, when you play like a fish, Joe, you get, you get fried, fried like, like a fish. fish. If I could give him any advice, it'd probably be play more hands. You're not going to win it back by folding. 9-8 for Perkins. Doesn't look like he's slowing down. 800. Raises to 800. UTG min raise with 9-8. I smell a comeback. <laughs> Queen deuce for Martinez. He folds. And help me this out. Dario Minieri with Big Slick. 21. Three bets to 2,100. Dario. Elky. You think Phil just realized they were here? <laughs> King Jack of Spades for Elky. And he makes the call. Not quite what I wanted. Phil just named two reasons why he's unlikely to be playing this hand. Look. And he folds. And Perkins, of course, makes the call. <laughs> Three players of the flop. Six trade deuce. Two spades. Elky flops a flush draw. And he eyes the flop sexily like only a Frenchman can. <laughs> Looks like he's gearing up for a donk bet. He does, bets 4,400. Perkins, you can't check, he folds. <laughs> Elke wants to try to just win it now or at least make sure some money gets in there. And even though Elke has the most equity, Dario has the best hand. Dario calls. Heads up to the turn. Elke hoping to seduce a spade out of that board. Nine of hearts. It's a fairly inconsequential card, though Perkins would be ahead if he had stayed in. Let's see if Elke wants to take another stab at this pot. He does, fires 11,100. Dario's probably wishing Elke had just shut down after that flop bet. And Dario says, Arrivederci. Folds. Easy game. Elke wins a pot worth 27,200. He's now up over 42K. You know, Elke also holds a Guinness World Record, Scott? What's that? Uh, he's either world's fattest man or for playing the most sit and goes in an hour. Well, I'm going to have to go with the most sit and goes. Turns out he's the world's fattest man. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. On to Massimiliano Martinez with Ace Deuce. Folds. 29. Stuck 2,900. Such a squeeze. <clears throat> In Perkins' regular game, a squeeze is a knit. 10-8 for Helmuth, raises to 1,100. Dario, ace jack. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to start squeezing. It's successful. You have to squeeze 26. a little bit. 
I think they got their squeeze wires crossed. Dario re-raises. You have to be thinking about squeezing, at least at a minimum. Even if you're playing fast. Elky folds. Lock with seven deuce. Uh, I can see the devil on his shoulder now. If I wanted to go the max, what would, what could I do? 99 would be the max. 99? Oh, that number's right up Phil's alley. I don't know, when you're stuck, 29, 99 seems like a good number. <laughs> How did I know? Solid poker strategy. All day, raises to 9,900 with the seven deuce. My day's coming, so it's not gonna be far off either, baby. I'll tell you right now. Phil Folds. You wanna gamble with me. So does Dario. My Wait, day's well. coming. Sure. He was bluffing. Show, show a deuce. Show a deuce. Show a chance this hand has a deuce, deuce in it. Show a deuce. Bluff. Show a deuce. Come on. Jack three. Do it, do it. Do it. $200. He could have had the jack three there. I love how you guys put me on a bluff there. I'm out of position. I know you're, I'm getting called in one spot. I put, you, I put you on a bluff. Yeah, really? Absolutely. Dude, you're playing every hand. I love it. I mean, it's just. I don't, I don't, in my range, the times that that's a bluff, it can be, and it, but it's pretty thin, boys. You keep calling 9,900 when I pop in 900. Watching the TV series lie to me changed my life. I think you're lying now. Yeah, yeah. he's lying. So I might have had you a bluff. Love, you love how everyone puts you on a bluff, but this time you were bluffing. Yeah. <laughs> he might be right. He's he good. Lie right. to me is the series for the poker. He watched, you see how he correlated yeah. the. That's true. Because you know that everybody puts him on a bluff, so they wouldn't think he's, they wouldn't think he's bluffing. So they're gonna and everyone was right right there. Dario raised, lock with four tray. For that, I'm gonna call with the weekend. To be fair, I don't think Phil ever actually lied. Lock and Perkins both call. Pocket kings for the cannon. Hey, oh, we've seen the kid play with not much of a hand. Let's see how he fares with Cowboys. I believe you. I believe you were bluffing. <laughs> this kid's a genius. <laughs> this kid is a genius, I think. I'm pretty sure. The rest of us, I'm not. He's still a genius. Us three clowns. The two Phil's and Bill, we're just giving it away, getting lucky. Giving it away. Martinez, three bets to 5,700. Back on Dario. Dario's smart. You can't talk, you know, because he'll just wiggle it out of you. And no. Wiggles out my hand and tell him. It's like a vampire movie where, like, the master warlord guy, you come in and you say, no, I didn't. Uh, kill the villager and he just knows and he, he, he like it's better for me when you play this fast phil 10 times like when you sit there and play super tight you, you want all the money dario folds and so do the rest maximiliano martinez is going to take it down and he's on the right track after some early bumps nice fold nice fold nice fold so the loose cannon ends the night on a high note as he finds himself up almost $80,000. Joining Max and Profitville are Dario, Elke, and Phil Locke, I guess. Well, Bill Perkins continues to be in a charitable mood this week. Massimiliano is still keeping the table guessing and did a nice job building his stack tonight. As a result, he's in position to go after Gonzalez Cannon and the NAPT Passport with a few nights to go. All right, guys, into the night. Phil, Team America is not in the lead right now. It's all good. I mean, you know, we love the Italians. We love their food. We love their cars. <laughs> we like, even love their beer. Do you like so, sitting I in mean, between two of them? Uh, it's kind of fun. I mean, you know, and, and, and you know what? If you look at the VOIP or whatever. The VPIP? Heck, yeah, that thing. <laughs> this is the guy. He's, play, he's been more aggressive than anybody at the table so far. And I think, I think he's going to lose about 70 in one hand is my prediction. <laughs> Don't jinx him. No, no, I'm not jinxing him. I'm just saying he's going to lose about 70,000 right, in one guys, hand. guys, that's it for so. tonight. I'm Amanda Leatherman saying goodbye for now. And remember, if you've got the cash and the guts, there's always a seat open at the big game. Good night, everybody. <laughs> We're going to jinx the loose cannon. Will Phil's prediction come true? Join us tomorrow night to find out. For Joe Stapleton, this is Scott Huff saying, ship it. You can't play that fast with me on your left and with him on your left. Eventually, you might beat us 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000. But then, no, <laughs> not at all. I want the told. I could be stuck 30 right now, easy. Are you going to wear You're this enough. the whole time, are you? Yeah, it's really, it's, a, I, I'm, I'll, yeah. The preceding program was sponsored by PokerStars.com.